Well, here we are at the High Park Service, which is just literally down the corner from Disneyland. If you if you walk that way, it's about 10 minutes, you can uh, get to Disneyland Paris really easy from where the hotel is. And it's a really nice hotel, which I'll, which I'll show you later. And then just down that way is um, Val de Europe, where you've got a shopping centre. Uh, I think there's a sea life there, and various restaurants, etc. Um, this side of the street, you've got loads of parking. You see our red car down there, just down there, just about there. That's where we parked, so you can park on the street for free. But the hotel does also offer parking for, I think it's about 15 euros a day, which isn't too bad, but if you can get the free parking, then all the better. But just be wary that if there are double yellow lines, supposedly the police are quite quite hot on that. But lucky for us, we managed to get the ticket. Uh, sorry, get the uh, parking space. So like I say, just 10 minutes that way. Um, we're going to show you that um, in another clip. Just walk into Disney, how close this, this place is and how reasonably priced it is. Um, so it's definitely a consideration for you. And uh, see you later. So if you're walking outside of the, sorry, walking to Disney, you walk outside uh, the hotel, turn right, and you'll see the police station on uh, on your left. You then turn right down this road here. There's the police station back there. And you come up to this roundabout. And at the roundabout, you turn left, and you walk down the promenade all the way through to the Disney Village which leads you to both parks and it literally takes 10 minutes so that's a really good option for you to do or the easiest one is get the bus number 50 bus from outside the hotel it takes you to the uh, train station between the two parks but the bus is every hour ish so you just got to decide really if the timings work out for you but the bus is is really really easy so it's number 50 from outside the hotel it takes you direct to the parks takes about four or five minutes and then you get the bus back and it drops you right outside the hotel or just up from the hotel near the police station but uh, it's not far at all so this is the road you come down from the roundabout you turn left and you just head all the way. Down that road, it's a bit bumpy. Yeah, let's come back out. So yeah, just head all the way down that road. Like I say, it's about 10 minutes. We're average walkers, speed walkers. A bit longer if you're a bit slower, obviously. But with two young children, 10 minutes isn't too bad. You see that's the Newport Bay Hotel. So yeah, you can really see the that building there, just just there. That's uh, I think that's the back of the cinema. There's a bowling alley there as well. So we're just going right into Disney Village sort of territory now. And here's some parking, which I think staff car park. I may be wrong, but uh, it's not that full. But yeah, there's the, the stage at the back there that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, maybe this bit here is better for development. Move the car park further up, uh, up the road towards the roundabout. Yeah, so across there you got the balloon and the New York Hotel in the distance. And again, another car park. As you can see there, just in the distance there, we've got the Disneyland Hotel. Focus. Yeah, Disneyland Hotel. It's not focusing, but that's. I assure you that is the Disneyland Hotel.